they're important for being shady and being tax compliant. I'm Tiffany Rodias, let's talk tax. If you're a self-employed taxpayer or a VAT registrant, keeping records is very important when it comes to your taxes. I have the receipts. If you work for yourself, the law allows for your expenses to be deducted from your taxes. However, you are obligated to keep records. A self-employed person must keep accounts and records of all purchases, all gross receipts and gross sales, any sums received or expended, and the transaction to which the receipt or expenditure relates, all allowances for wear and tear on plant, machinery, equipment, or building, which is used in the business. Uh, wow, that is very interesting. Please tell me more. You will also need to keep records of bank statements, accounts, any payments made to any person or company out of the country, shares held or owned by any person in the country, inventory, that is your annual stock taking, and finally, you must keep account of all assets and liabilities. These records and accounts are important in the calculation of your income and expenditure statement, which you will need to attach when you're filing your tax returns. Wow, look at this. Do you know what this means? A self-employed person is required by law to keep books and records for eight years. The Income Tax Act notes it is an offense to keep or prepare any false accounts or particulars concerning any income on which tax is payable. A self-employed person could be held liable on summary conviction to a fine of $100,000 and triple the amount of tax under charge and six months imprisonment for this offense. I've told you about the records you need to keep if you are self-employed. Now, we'll talk about the records you need to maintain if you are a VAT registrant. The Value Added Tax Act stipulates that all registered VAT persons keep their original and copy tax invoices, tax credit notes, and tax debit notes received by the person. You're also required to maintain customs documentations relating to imports and exports by the person, accounting records relating to taxable activities carried out in Guyana, and any other records as may be prescribed by regulations are documents that you must maintain. Write that down, write that down! VAT registered persons are also required to keep accounting records of taxable activities in accordance with Section 60 of the VAT Act. These include sales invoices issued under Section 28.2 of the Act, including a list and summary of sales transactions of less than $10,000, a record of supplies taken by the taxable person for use or given free of charge for nominal considerations to other persons. You also need to maintain records listing and summarizing cash receipts and cash payments in respect of daily transactions, stock records in respect to opening and closing stock, purchases and sales ledgers, income and expense accounts. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! You will also need to keep records of till rolls and tapes, bank statements, copies of customs import and export documents, computer records, and any related records to the business, including correspondence and audit reports. If a VAT registrant fails to maintain the required books and records, he or she could be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding $200,000 or 5% of the tax assessed. Additionally, any person, including non-resident companies, who knowingly or recklessly fails to present books and records when requested, commits an offense. This is liable to a fine of $25,000 if it is a person and $1 million if it is a non-resident company. A VAT registrant will also be liable to a penalty of $100 for each day or portion thereof that the failure continues. I can't go to jail. I'm too pretty. I won't last a day. For the full list of books and records you need to keep as a self-employed or a VAT registered person, visit our website over here. You can also call our tax specialist if you have questions on these numbers. The Ghana Revenue Authority is back on Facebook. Like and follow us for the latest on all things tax related and then some. And don't forget to follow us over at Instagram and our other social media platforms.